in the footsteps of the Corps of Discovery, the Lewis and Clark Discovery Expedition, along the Missouri River banks at St. Charles, May 21st, 1804. This was their campsite. They returned to this campsite a little over two years later. Will Clark, Meriwether Lewis. Lewis is the one with the big hat. Find the statue at Frontier Park in St. Charles, Missouri. The Lewis and Clark Monument. St. Charles has welcomed travelers for well over 200 years. Captain William Clark and the men of the Corps of Discovery experienced this hospitality with a ball held in their honor on the evening of May 16, 1804. As they awaited the arrival of Captain Lewis and his dog, Seaman, this monument commemorates these famous explorers as they faced the unknown west in anticipation of great discoveries. And who were some of the pals that went on the trip with them? Well, this is John Coulter. John got really smart and he stayed in Wyoming. That's why Yellowstone was one's called Coulter's Hell. And there's Francois Labiche. Francois was one of the experienced boatmen recruited shortly before the Lewis and Clark expedition departed. He had enlisted in the Army on May 16, 1804 at St. Charles. James McKay, not part of the expedition, but he shared maps with Will Clark that proved valuable information about the Indian tribes and their customs. Please be sure to subscribe. One of the plaques has selected excerpts from Captain Clark's journal while at St. Charles. And who's this one-eyed fiddle player? It's Pierre Cruzet. He was recruited and joined the Lewis and Clark expedition there at St. Charles Encampment. He was a talented fiddle player, providing entertainment for the men as well as the natives. Not far away, find the Lewis and Clark Boathouse and Museum. May 21st, 1804, set out from St. Charles at three o'clock after getting every matter arranged. William Clark, which means the possible bag was filled and what's a possible bag? The explorers carried a bag known as a possible bag because it contained everything it could possibly hold. Let's just see what was in this possible bag. Hide containers, an awl, a short starter, a knife, a compass, flint and starter, a tobacco twist, a clay pipe, trade beavers, salt, a comb, and a toothbrush. Well, that was smart. Flip-flops on the ground, and classic road trip.